do believe and think that Canelo might not choose Benavides as one of his fights and just kind of skip over that? Uh, who knows? Yeah, who knows? I mean, one thing about Canelo is that look, the history shows that, yeah, he's fighting the top guys. He's taking all the challenge. Canelo is unquestionably the season champion and a formidable fighter. But we can't help but wonder who will prevail when Mongia enters the ring with that kind of fire in his belly. The boxing professionals had some fascinating views about their victory. Firstly, the lightning man, Vasily Lomachenko. The lightweight champion who is swift isn't believing into the rumors that Canelo will defeat Hai Mong. Renowned for his chess-like intelligence, Mongia Lomachenko finds this bout to be a fascinating riddle. Canelo is undoubtedly the favorite because of his experience and technical skill. But Mongia has a youthful ferocity and raw power that may be frightening. This struggle, even the king adds, is more interesting than most people realize Canelo may have trouble with Manga's hunger and youth, but his chin raises questions. Canelo by later round knockout, but Mongia could make an early steal. He claims that Mia's chin is Lomachenko's concern. He makes the case that Mongia might not be ready for Canelo's powerful blows. <laughs> However, in contrast, Mangas' striking strength is unavoidable, and Canelo Lomachenko might face devastating consequences from a well-timed counterattack. He foresees a conflict, one that might turn out either way based on who can establish their style first. He says Canelo can defeat Mangia if he takes his time dissecting him, but there's also a fair chance that Manga's raw aggression will get the better of the champion. <laughs> Lomachenko believes that Mongolia will prevail via knockout, but he believes that this will happen far later than everybody anticipates. We can all agree that this fight will be big, but not everyone sees it ending in a KO victory. And Deontay Wilder is one of the fighters who could change the super middleweight narrative. Lomachenko suggests that this fight has the potential to be a real thriller, a clash of styles and generations that could rewrite the narrative at super middleweight. Opinions similar to many of us is that Canelo will rule. When it comes to Canelo versus Mongia, hard-hitting heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder isn't one for intricate footwork or tactics. Wilder uses his customary bluntness to deliver a verbal wallop. He said we should throw out all the strategy and boxing acumen. He believes that Hey Mongia is simply a vibrant punching bag that is just ready to be destroyed by Canelo Mongia, and that this battle is all about pure strength. Yes, that's funny. Even though Canelo is a skilled fighter who has already put some of the hardest boxers to sleep with his right hand, Wilder seems to have forgotten that Mangia isn't exactly a kitten. Canelo will walk right through him and end it with a single right shot. With his considerable strength, the youthful challenger is able to eliminate the majority of his opponents. Additionally, Wilder dismisses the notion that strategy matters. Even though Canelo may not be a graceful fighter, he is a skilled fighter who can lay traps and give opponents the impression that they are invincible. In that situation, Mongia may be outmatched. Although it's possible that Wilder is merely attempting to stir things up with his outrageous prediction, there is some truth to what he says about Canelo's ability to change his strategy mid-fight, something that even he occasionally finds difficult. Canelo and Mangia have the ability to shatter skulls. While it's possible for this bout to devolve into a brawl or a knockout dragout war, it would be overly dramatic to claim, as Wilder claims, that strategy is meaningless. There's more to boxing than merely using force. Canelo's bout has the potential to be a true pyrotechnics display. But don't be shocked if the fighter with more strategy wins instead of the heavier puncher. Wilder is not the only one who takes a side, the others also do. The iron-willed Kaak, Gennady Golovkin, has a score to settle with Canelo Alvarez. In his remarks about the impending fight, Golovkin subtly suggests that Canelo may be taking high manja a little too lightly. We all recall those epic fights where both fighters had a lot on the line. Golovkin reminds everyone that Canelo had his hands full with him twice, 
a fighter known for relentless pressure and a similar stalking style to Mongia. Here's where Golovkin adds a wrinkle. In his opinion, Mungia offers something unique to the table, unadulterated youthful strength that has the ability to shatter even Canelo's granite chin. People tend to forget that I had two struggles with Canelo. Canelo may be up against much harder competition than he is indicating. An upset would not surprise him. Golovkin speculated that Canelo might be trying to minimize the threat Mongia perceives by giving off the impression of being unbeatable. This may be a calculated ploy to boost his own self-esteem, and could even fool Mongia into thinking he is safe even outside the ring. But Golovkin, a combative veteran with much experience, believes Canelo will face far more challenges than what is the media portraying. With Canelo's supposedly unrivaled skills, the boxing community may be quick to write Mongia off. But Golovkin, who has fought innumerable battles in the ring, cautions against overlooking the youthful opponent. Is there anything that scares you, Canelo Alvarez? What, what frightens you? <laughs> Nothing about boxing. No. This is what I love. Yeah. So. Action picking up now in round nine. And these rounds are close. In this case, it is Alvarez that comes out. Good uppercut by Triple G. Fires back with a hook. Golovkin says, bring it. Let's go. 